going to differentiate between market action, the overall market forces, let's say, of the day, and then we're going to look at price action, which is what's happening in the moment. So they're, they're looking at the same um, price and time data, but at two different uh, points of view. And I'll show you, if you can line them up, you have a better chance of success. Now, before we go any farther, you're going to have to understand what my charts look like and what, the, what they mean, okay? What I look at, first of all, is speed of the market. That's the market action. I use 2155 EMAs. Remember, these we're using moving averages, all right? I use 2155. You can use 2060. I, you know, honestly, it doesn't matter. Don't get hooked on looking for a magic formula, okay? I'm just using medium-term moving averages. I like 2155. Now, for price action, or what I call momentum, we look at the 5-8 EMA, and the 8 is an SMA, but uh, again, you don't have to get uh, too focused on that. It doesn't really matter. I'm using short-term moving averages. That's all that, that matters. They, they cross a lot because they're, they're measuring things in the short term. Uh, for trend, I use 200 EMA. We're not going to talk about that today. For volatility, I use Bollinger Bands at two standard deviations. Again, we're not really going to talk about that today. And for oscillators, uh, I use MACD set at 21.55.8 and stochastic set at 8.35. Now, again, we're not going to talk about those today. What we are going to talk about is how to align up price action with, uh, with market action using these moving averages. Now, notice how my, uh, the common thread or the common denominator between all my uh, chart setups and my, all my indicator setups are Fibonacci. Fibonacci numbers. So there is some sort of divine harmony in here, but you can, again, just find what works for you and that's, you know, keep doing that. So let's talk about uh, what these look like. Now the first thing that we're going to look at is market action, okay? And the orange line and the blue line, all right? The orange line is a 21 EMA and the blue line is a 55 EMA. Again, what this represents is market action. Now, because they're medium-term moving averages, let's say you're looking at a 15-minute chart. Uh, in fact, you are looking at a 15-minute chart. It looks like a pound, dollar, 15-minute. Um, they don't cross that often. They're medium-term. They're really slow, okay? Uh, again, uh, the 21 EMA is, is showing you a moving average of 21 candles, and the 55 EMA is a moving average of 55 candles. So you know what? On, on some days, you'll find that uh, this may only cross once or twice, okay, which is great. This is, I use the 21.55 if I'm swing trading. See, ideally, you can get, a, get in near the top of the market, ride it all day, and then get out at the bottom of the market. Well, that's where, you know, literally, if you're getting in at the top and out at the bottom, that's the market, right? That's what you're trading, the market. There, you don't need to be concerned with price in that situation, that you're trading the market. So that's, that's how I measure market action. And now price action, remember, it's short term. I call it momentum, in the moment. What is price doing now? And for that, I use the 5 EMA and 8 SMA. And you can see they cross a lot more, don't they? They cross a lot more all the time. They cross constantly, right? But that's, that's what happens with price. Now, if I back up again, here's, here's, um, here, here's a uh, 2155 cross. Here's a 2155 cross. It doesn't happen very often, right? See, that's, that's what's powerful about the market. It shows you direction if you use it right. Now, how many times have you seen, like, let's say the market falls, like in this example? Okay, the market falls. Let's say, you know, somebody asks you, hey, so how did trading go? And you said, well, you know, uh, the dollar fell today. Yeah, but you know what? When the market falls, we know that the definition of, of a falling market is a series of lower lows, lower highs, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Lower high on and on and on, right? So even if the market is down, right, market, if the market is down, price can still go up. In fact, price goes up all the time in a down market. So that's why I want to separate the two. Measure what's happening in the market, and perhaps I can make a decision on what I want to do throughout the day. 